Bert knows them, but you know the Seekers, don't you? Know them? I've slept with all of them. <laughs> <laughs> Except Judith. <laughs> Good morning and welcome to the show. Put together Keith Podka, Bruce Woodley, Judas Durham and Athwell Guy. What have you got? Four people hiding behind those. <laughs> Here they are, the Seekers. <laughs> Hiya, Keith. Very Bruce, awesome. lovely to see you. Good morning, Good morning Judas. <laughs> lovely to see you and my old friend Athwell. How do you do, sir? Please, it's boring time for you, sir. Have you seen the, uh, the show yet? No, the I've been trying very hard. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm doing we'll my begin. farewell tour uh, of oh, it. Yeah? Uh, just will be well, we'll the be year, your so. backing group. Lovely. It's great to have you here. I've seen your show great twice. To see you. Have you? I've been to the producers twice. I've oh, been and what did you think? Did you enjoy oh, it? I think it's the yeah. best musical I've ever seen. Oh, I love great, it, though. and you're brilliant. Oh, oh thank you, Judith. You're brilliant. That's all I wanted from you. Okay, guys. Thanks all. Now, we have no doubts. You chose the order here too, because I didn't write because you're old friends and the whole thing. I didn't want to show any favouritism. Uh -huh. Now, Keith got the, the lead out. Uh, Bruce yeah. came second. Yes. Then Judith, then yourself. This is now you have to guess, why did we come on in that order? Why? Why are you touching me? Because you wanted to be close <laughs> to me, <laughs> I'm, I'm sure. 45 years since yes. we first worked together at Channel 9. That's uh, right. With uh, our uh, group, the Escorts, which Keith and I had. Yeah. On your, uh, was it you, the Coca-Cola show? Coca -Cola, uh, Hi Fi Club. Hi Fi Club. Yeah, yeah, and you used to back me. And well, you did. That's the one and thing I... we used to I, sing with you too. Yes, <laughs> I, uh, I really <laughs> respect <laughs> about the Seekers. You've never, you've never deigned to record uh, One Dozen Roses. Because it is my song, isn't it? Yeah. Well, we treat it with great respect. We give I it the I did learn the chords though, for it. But I thought we were case. going to do it. I thought we were going to do it today. But oh. you requested something else. I was bitterly disappointed. Oh well, next time maybe. Yeah. Yes. And what about you, Mother? You've got your own album out. <laughs> you noticed? Yes. <laughs> Tell us all about it. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay. Yes. Keith will talk about this. Watch the other three throw oh, up. Another time. No, this is <laughs> all by your lonesome. Yes, yes. I decided I'd take the plunge. Forty years after being in the business, I thought, well, that's my first solo CD. Yeah. So anyway. all your own writing. Keith. Yes, or co-writes. Yeah. Right. yeah, there must be something. Uh, I mean, the success that you've enjoyed as a band, as a group, is phenomenal. I was going. I mean, I don't normally go through the research on the Seekers because I don't need to. I'm a huge fan, known the guys for so long. But I just thought I'd check a few things out, and it is quite. I don't know whether everybody in Australia realises just the breakthrough that you made uh, internationally. I mean, number one hit in America, number one hits in the UK, mm. outsold the Beatles and Elvis. Uh, in their in their prime. Well, we were talking the other day, Judith and I, and we were saying uh, huge publicity for the 40 years ago when the Beatles hit our shores here, and just as they hit our shores in Australia, we were just very quietly getting off the boat in London to go and do battle in the the musical Olympics yeah. uh, in the UK and the world with against them and the Stones and all the others, and and we won a few gold medals for our country. Uh, in the well, you certainly did. Yeah. Certainly did. Did you realise at that time? But I asked Bruce this because. Uh, He's a dead set old mate of mine. That when you went across to England, I guess you were hoping to get work, but you couldn't have foretold what was going to happen. Not at all, you? not at all. In fact, the, as the story goes, we were set to come back on uh, a Sitma ship about 10 weeks later. That right. was the total view of, of that trip, 10 weeks. And of course, we were there at least two years till we came back. Mm. You went over on the first guy or first star? First guy, first without, guy. yes. First there was guy, the first yeah. sea, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Because that also was the venue for the very first uh, Logies telecast. It yes, was done at Station right. Pier, yes. and I think right. you were leaving within days, weren't yeah, you? That's right. Because yeah. right. yeah. yeah. I remember you were on board, and uh, and we, we well, talked to you. They were, they were great friends of ours. Yeah. We wouldn't have been doing the Logies on that uh, time, I mean, unless it came after our fame, because we weren't Logie contenders mm. uh, right. before we left. You see, nobody really I knew who we, we were. Oh, so no, we did a bit. We did a show on one we of the did. ships uh, uh, on one of the Logie nights. Yeah, mm. well, I think but it would have been after. We'd well, I mean, done something returns, special, really. yeah. But, but, well, I think maybe that was the reason because we did it. What year did you go over? 64. Oh, yeah. I'm, yes. I'm talking 67, 68. Yes, right. yeah. And they gave yeah. us a special Logie, actually, for you know, right. Best New Group or something yeah. or other. Because yeah. we weren't really on TV in Australia very much. No. So they well, had to right. kind of yeah. invent an award for yeah. us because we were here. Yeah. We'd done this special, though. We would have had the down, Seekers Down Under, down under. which mm. was a huge yeah, rating special. Great. When we get on air, we won't talk about that because it took us a long time to get round to it. So we won't talk about the Logies. Oh, we are on air already. Judith, to you. I mean, it might be new to Keith that he's doing his own solo album, but of course you've you've done uh, a couple of, of your own. Yeah. Is that 
Is that a respite from the seekers or is the seekers a respite from uh, performing individually? My head spins, Bert. It's really, really hard to Still know drinking, what to eh? do. Yeah, yeah. It's very difficult. <laughs> <laughs> Shall it? yeah. it's, it's hard. It's very, very difficult to do, but it seems such a sad thing when the four of us can still perform together to not take the opportunity while we can all still get out there. So that's why this tour is happening. Yeah. It's against all reason when you think about it, yeah. you know, and especially when I was doing the tour in, in England last year, which was great because my 60th birthday and it was such a big celebration. Mm -hmm. Hopefully I'll have a DD, DVD for from that at some point but it's just very very special the four of us getting together the fact we are the original members if we think we're the only band perhaps apart from Peter Paul and Mary who are the all the originals from the 60s yeah that's right it's incredible I mean and yeah. so we sort of treasure those moments yeah. so it's lovely to have something to celebrate I mean, yeah. because they are genuine celebrations maybe in a sense a little self-indulgent but I mean you know 40 years ago since we set sail on uh, with the sit more mm. special moments and uh, you know they're, they're just great memories for us unfortunately enough people out there who come along and sing louder than we do in our shows which yeah. how, but how can it be self-indulgent when I mean uh, we all <laughs> including myself we all do gags about you know the, the final final tour and the mm. whole deal mm. but the bottom line is they're all sellouts uh, mm. and and people want to hear you and people want to yes, see you so yes. and I know that on at least two occasions you've, you've told me off air mm. and then on air that it was going to be the last time because genuine. you've got it yeah, yeah genuine yeah. but then if the if the interest is there you've got to grab it the fans well, are there no hard. doubt about it the yeah. fans are there the fans yeah. are there but you see even with Kim <coughs> see having his new album it, it is hard to do yeah. all you it's really hard that's that's just the difficulty yeah. you know it feel, looks easy on stage but it's quite difficult to give full attention to whatever is required sure we yeah. were a bit self-indulgent by the way with our ultimate collection album I should mention oh, oh yeah. Yeah. we, we were given a chance yeah. to choose the tracks for the very first time on, on any compilation yeah. we've ever done we, uh, yeah, we right. had a chance to choose the tracks that we felt best represented the group as we were through our entire recording history. So, so some of the tracks go right back. In fact, one of my favourites from the concerts is going to be Bruce uh, taking the lead on Dee's Bones Going to Rise Again, yeah. which is from 1960, sort of 62 or something. One of his favourite songs. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, keep up being a pun. Yeah, there's... <laughs> <laughs> so both are uh, available uh, uh, right now. And, and the lovely thing is for the, um, some of the footage you were showing then yeah. is from the DVD, which is also on now oh, as a yeah. special yeah. tour pack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's great. Well, that's well, another reason for us to actually go out, because when you're supported so much by your recording company and finally you're given the chance to select the tracks, which never happened in the past, they yeah. always put out you know, compilations of anything. But the fact that they've put the promotion behind them, I mean, it's another reason where we say we have an obligation as professionals mm -hmm. to go out and support the product. I mean, it's our product and we're very proud of it. Well, yeah. I've noticed uh, where you're playing, and they're all huge venues yeah. uh, with a lot of artists and groups and things. I'd worry for them, but not on this occasion, because you've proven in the, uh, the past that you've got a, a great track record. And here's a list of the places where you're playing. Uh, in Wollongong, the Town Hall there, the Sydney Opera House, the Melbourne Concert Hall, Her Majesty's Theatre in Adelaide, Bunbury Entertainment Centre, uh, the, uh, the Burswood uh, Casino Theatre in Perth, and then you're going to Toowoomba in Queensland at the Empire Theatre, which I believe is a beautiful theatre. Yes, uh, the great, I think actually, I think our uh, audio director, uh, Russell, I, I think his parents have a lot to do with the, uh, with the Empire Theatre there oh. in Toowoomba. Oh, okay. So beautiful if, if they make themselves theater. known to yeah. you, uh, yeah, say hello. Yeah, yep. gorgeous and, uh, place Clyde is his, uh, is his surname. Yeah, yeah. If you want to see him after your yeah. number here's in the audio that's oh, lying you, down. Uh, <laughs> we missed out on Tassie there too. I think you're going, well, you're going yeah, to the Concert Hall in Brisbane, yeah. then the Canberra Theatre, then the Derwent Entertainment Centre in Hobart, and then uh, the Geelong Arena in, uh, in August. We'll talk more in just a few moments' yes. time, but I do thank you for coming in so uh, early. Yeah. There'll be a couple of songs too from the guys soon. We're back with Pete and Bruce and Judith and Apple after this break. Tell that story out here, because it's a bit fun. We're with the Seekers this morning, Keith, Bruce, Judith and Athel. Just tell the story about <laughs> going on the Sitmar line. Well, we nearly didn't go, because I had to go to a meeting with the managing director of Sitmar just before we sailed, and he said, oh, it's lovely to have you coming on the boat to England, and then back here, and then to the tour for the Olympic Games. He said, in the morning you play your folk music at morning tea. I said, oh, yes, play our folk music, love your folk music. In the afternoon you play your folk music for us. And he said, yes, yeah, lovely. I thought, well, that's going to be pretty easy. And he said, and in the evening you'll play the rock and roll. My brain went numb, but fortunately my mouth said, of course. Yeah. <laughs>
So what did you I do? I had to come back and tell we played rock and roll. What did you play? I had to come back and tell my colleagues here that we had to gear up to be a rock and roll. So what did you do? What sort of stuff? Oh. Shadows, I think you oh, said. Oh, yeah, Shadows, yeah. yeah. We did uh, Patchy and, uh, uh, and uh, Baby Elephant. Walk, walk Don't Run. A couple of Beatles. Beatles. Oh, that's right. Bruce on drums. Well, of course, with the Beatles being so popular at that stage, we were doing covers of their work. Yeah. Yeah. Can't Buy Me Love, things like that. You got away with it? All if I'd stumbled at the meeting, I wouldn't have been on the boat. Electric uh, guitar and yeah, Athol had electric bass. Yeah. Yeah. I had electric yeah. drums. Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Then. What about uh, you and Keith went to school together? I think Bruce too. Did you? Yeah. Bruce, yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, Melbourne High was it? Melbourne High School. Yeah. Just over the road. Did right. you know each other very well at school? No. Uh, no. Well, well no, we were a year, a year apart. apart, and at school that tends to divide you. Yeah. yeah. They're both older than me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Actually. Now, who do we see? Oh, this oh, is your revisiting Melbourne. Ah, yes. Right. There we go. This, oh, is, part of the, memories, this yeah. is part of the DVD uh, that's on the uh, on the, pack. the double oh, pack. Yeah. Terrific. That's the old classroom. That's yep. the old classroom. That is it. Oh. Was it? <coughs> that's what they used to do there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, not, a, not a very good uh, example to say. No, set, not, not a great. Seinfeld, eat your heart out. Not a great. Oh, there. Oh, there you go. Oh, here we go. Now What's this a is bit of sport? this is acting at its finest. There's a googly from Woodley, hit for six by the bass player. Yep. And oh no. <laughs> There's more. Oh, wait on. That's a no, no, that's oh, it. my goodness. That's you idiot. We didn't that's expect this. Great oh, Who needs the young ones? Cheesy. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's, so like it's, a, it's a compilation. I mean, the DVD sounds just terrific. Oh, look, it's a lovely show. Uh, I saw it uh, in its uh, entirety about a couple of months back. I hadn't watched it for years. And I, I have to say, <laughs> I loved it. You know, it was a super quality little movie that we did. And, and something very unusual for Australia, wasn't it? Yes, no? and it was shown in cinemas at the time. That's uh, right. Yeah, mm. and in New Zealand too. Yeah. And New Zealand actually is a big market for you, isn't it? It always has mm. been. We're yes. doing two right. concerts as part of the tour. We're going to Christchurch in Auckland, actually. Yeah. Yeah. We don't go to New Zealand, unfortunately. I, I had one <coughs> uh, television show go to New Zealand some years ago, yeah. uh, New Faces, which you oh, judged yeah. on. Yeah. And uh, I've told the story before that the first set of ratings uh, came out and we got, I think, 23s, yeah. but the opposition got 48s. Oh. And and it was the sheepdog trial. Sheep <laughs> so I thought, well, maybe it's the time to uh, pull out of the New Zealand market. Speaking of ratings, you still hold the record. 67, I think, wasn't it? For the, yeah, yeah. Mm. And the Sydney Maya Music Bowl. What are your memories of that, Bruce? I, I remember that as being a very warm day. That's the first thing, as you can see, people with paper hats on, and uh, suddenly this shimmering heat looking at this amazing sea of faces. We had no idea there were that many people there. It was How just, you know? well, we are told there were over 200,000 people least. there. Yeah. They did it by traffic count in the finish because they stopped the traffic at St Kilda Junction. Right. Because they stopped counting heads and then just counted the cars on top of the heads. Is that the television show that uh, Norman Spencer <laughs> produced and directed? Yeah. Yes. 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 There's this great uh, helicopter shot which shows the the, the, uh, the extent of the crowd. It's, it was yeah. fantastic. Uh, do you know, he's uh, undervalued, I reckon, in many respects, the late <coughs> Norm Spencer. I mean, oh, he, oh, yes. He started yes. in Melbourne tonight. He was the first program director on the Nine yeah. Network. Yes. He discovered Graham for uh, for yes. television. He gave me my break at, yeah, at Channel Nine. Yes. And all of those things. And yet, quite often, they talk about yeah. the history of television in Australia. Yeah. And they don't he's mention mentioned. Norman yeah. Spencer. No, he's he's an icon right, figure in the yes. industry. And, and quite apart from that, as you well know, because he was great mates of all of us. Just a wonderful man. Yeah. Mm. Genuine, you know, compassionate. He loved his artists. He looked after them. Yeah. And a really, uh, you know, before his time from that point of view. Well, he, what did he organise? He organised an orchestra at, uh, at Channel 9 yeah. Melbourne, yeah. Uh, a chorus, yeah. uh, a ballet, yeah. and they're all on staff. I mean, it's, yeah. it just doesn't happen anywhere else in the world. No, uh, no, no. They were, they were great days. And his son, Dennis, of course. Uh, then, yes. His colleague. in his footsteps. Yeah, exactly. Well, he's... Wonderful director. He's, Dennis is down in Melbourne, I think. Yes, and he's uh, he's the chief of the, the production company. Yeah. Uh, Southern Cross is, of course, uh, that does uh, Big Brother. I think, and uh, yeah. yeah, big problem. I think yeah. it's something. Anyway, that's not important. Yeah, but he's followed it. Uh, just one final question: um, Is this the final tour? Do you reckon? What's the betting? And I'm, I'm not trying to be. Is that your final question? Is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, no. We're, we're just going to keep enjoying ourselves. Yeah. But you know, as long as people would like to see us, I'd say, why not? Why not? We've, well, we've, I've changed my mind. That wasn't it's the final it's question. It's <laughs> yeah. Where did that come uh, from? I don't know. <laughs> So if we, you know, if we're all well, I mean, they say, "Why do you do it well?" Because we can. Mm. I mean, the bottom line is that we're, it's great for us to get together because we love each other's yeah. company, and that doesn't happen often enough. Keith's yeah. made a big statement there, yeah. but you can bet your bottom dollar if his album goes to number one, suddenly it'll be a sold. <laughs>
solo tour for Keith and Nuts. Yeah. <laughs> I will be there as his back. Oh, yeah, well, and why not? I know you've been trying to get rid of him for years. So, there, he goes. there is Keith's go, album, right? which is beautiful stuff oh, by, yeah. by this very talented uh, man. And there, of course, the memories just flood back. Southern Star, by the way, Southern is the name Star. of that Star. production Star. company. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We look forward oh, to the songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To the likes that you always. Thanks, Alfred. Thank, Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Bill. Thank you. I'm looking Thank forward you. to it. Four great people. Keith, uh, Bruce, Judith and Athol, known throughout the world as the Seekers.